Did you know these five things about lymphatic filariasis? 1. Across the world, the disease has many different names. In the Hausa language, spoken mainly in northern Nigeria, it is known as Gudungaman Kafa, meaning swollen feet. This word describes how lymphatic filariasis causes painful swelling of the limbs, known as lymphedema. 2. Lymphatic filariasis is an ancient disease which for many years had no known treatment. It is thought to have been present in human societies, causing pain and stigmatization for about 4,000 years. An ancient Egyptian statue of Pharaoh Montehotep II depicts him with swollen limbs, a characteristic of advanced infection. During the second half of the 19th century, scientists discovered the filarial worms that caused the disease. 3. The disease is spread from person to person through the bite of a mosquito. When an infected mosquito bites someone, it deposits larvae that move through the skin and live in the lymphatic system for several years. As the worms mature into adults, they cause damage to the lymphatic system. During this time, they breed and produce baby worms, known as microfilaria, that travel through the bloodstream at regular intervals. Mosquitoes also ingest the microfilaria when they bite an infected person, which further spreads the infection when they bite a new human host. 4. The baby worms only circulate through the blood at night. Because mosquitoes commonly feed at night, the baby worms are more active during that time, resulting in an increased concentration of them in the bloodstream. This makes the diagnosis of lymphatic filariasis tricky, as traditionally you have to examine blood samples at night. New developments, such as the filarial test strip, mean it is now possible to diagnose people at any time of day. 5. Communities are now fighting back against lymphatic filariasis and elimination is possible in our lifetime. Lymphatic filariasis has gone from a devastating neglected disease which we knew little about, to one that can be quickly diagnosed, treated and managed. This gives us a clear pathway to eliminate lymphatic filariasis, meaning more people are receiving treatment and care. Some countries have even been able to stop treatment. Thanks to the support of communities, governments, donors and a network of partners, more people than ever before are receiving treatment and care for lymphatic filariasis. But there is still work to be done. More funding and support is needed to reach everyone affected and rid the world of this painful disease. Find out more at www.sitesavers.org forward slash NTDs.